What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here, bringing you another up and coming video. It's been a while since I've done one. And actually, it's been a while since I've said anything about uh, my personal clan. And I think it's overdue. Some shout outs and some respect are overdue. Um, so let's first just start with my clan, Ain't Nobody. It was established um, just over two years ago, two years and two months. Um, it became, I mean, 200 and, um, 294 wins and like 30 losses or something like that. We're coming up on 300 wins, which is a huge milestone. Um, it's pretty impressive. And I think level 12 is right around the corner for us. It, it um, has developed, it, it really progressed in the right way. And I owe that all to the, to the co-leaders and I've named them before. Uh, you know, you have Sarah, you have... Um, Dead Man Walking, Nostalgia, and then of course we have um, a newer uh, co-leader. We have um, Number Two in Progress, uh, who I, uh, as well as Chief Eli, and of course longtime member Blaze. So all the and if I if I missed anybody, I'm sorry, but I, there, a coffee is another one. You know, there's been some great developments here, and I just want to say huge respect out to them, and uh, because they do largely the running of it. Um, and they're the reason why we are where we are today. So big, in fact, and we're heading in the right way. Uh, we are building towards trying to make a, um, a shot at CWL Season 3. Um, not sure what area. I know part of that, what uh, hindered our, our name on the hat, is Town Hall 10s. But we have since crossed the bridge. So with that all said, we have a feeder that was recently established, which is doing quite well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take a moment and say shout out to all those things and what our direction is going. Um, and then also say um, I am elated to be proven wrong because I have c often said uh, that Town Hall, I've had the worst luck with Town Hall 10s. I'm a rush Town Hall 10 here, but yet I still, I've had history of carrying Max Town Hall 10s that just simply don't know how to attack. You know, it is what it is. That's why they were booted. But we've recently got some Town Hall 10s that can freaking play. I mean, and I'm just like, thank you, thank you, you know? So I want to show a little bit of those kind of attacks. We have Lieutenant Glenn um, going in on this base with 40-40. Of course that helps, but we even have um, we even have uh, people that don't have uh, max Town Hall 10s that are... They, it's not what you have, it's what you, you uh, how you use it. Um, and they... They hold their own, you know. There's nobody caring. They're um, having to clean up after them. Um, people, we can rely upon them. So I just wanted to show Lieutenant Glenn here, who I rarely um, show Max Heroes on the perfect um, uh, up and coming video, but I do have some relative um, or consistent with the theme um, uh, raids to show you from low level heroes and things like that. But I wanted to still show these guys on here because I have never, I haven't showed them since they joined the clan. And they've really been a great addition to the to the team, um, holding their weight and then some. I mean, it's it's really nice. It's a nice team um, effort, is what I feel like. That they know what they're doing um, at the town hall ten level game. I won't be able to show it in this replay, but I'm going to also count, uh, shout out Sphinx is a new town hall ten that is just wrecking face over at our side, as well as Scuba. Uh, just doing great. We also have Beast who has a rush town all 10 that still does pr uh, relative, uh, pretty well with it. So just wanted to say those names out loud on the video, even though I'm not going to be able to show some of the replays here. I've missed a lot of them, uh, including Sarah's 10, um, 10 on 10 threes. I mean, that learning curve is, is definitely there, um, but we're holding true to what the percentages should be on 10 v 10 threes is, and it's going swimmingly. So nice job coming over. You guys are doing a great job, and it's um, a huge part of that success. As we take a look at uh, uh, Lieutenant Glenn here, clearing up the mess. Um, you know, every time I see his um, uh, Lieutenant Glenn, I always want to say to myself, Lieutenant Dan, ice cream, ice cream, Lieutenant Dan. Three star, three star, Lieutenant Glenn. Three star. <laughs> nice job, bud. Let's get out of here. Let's go down. Husk was uh, deserved his own video. Lieutenant, he, he got a six pack. Both of these were ten on ten threes. Uh, that doesn't matter. It's a rushed base. Um, Seer, oh Seer is another one. Also doing quite well. He is a brand new Town Hall ten. Taking a look at his Royals here, thirty thirty four. Not the hardest base in the world, but I know a lot of people that watch this series are you know you don't you you face these bases all the time. And you have single target infernals, which is pretty much a no-no nowadays. 
Uh, statistically sh- uh, speaking, multi infernos almost always defend way more than single, especially with witches being so OP. But he doesn't. Uh, with uh, loons is also another one that uh, or Lalo you want to take advantage of with single target infernals, which is what Seer does here. And I can't pronounce that. I think it's German. Um, I'll just call you Seer, buddy, and you can tell me in game how to phonetically um, spe- uh, pronounce that correctly. But he also uh, is doing quite well. Just really, I'm excited and encouraged uh, uh, that I've been proven wrong. I've always been like, man, I can't ever get a Town Hall 10 in here to carry their freaking weight. Uh, but these guys that showed up, man, they, they carry it and then some. So it's really, really refreshing. Underdeveloped uh, air defenses takes advantage of that. You got to go Lalo as opposed to the decision to go with witches. Plus, loons are just, in my opinion, so much more consistent and controllable to get that three. Um, with witches, there's a there's a, a a decent amount of YOLO involved. You know, like after you get all your troops deployed in a certain way, you pretty much don't have much control over it after that. Uh, with loons, you do though. You can have a little bit of a just on the fly moments. As it, as we take a look at this, uh, the Infernal Tower Sweeper Bow and Tesla are stew up that is annoying him, and so he has to basically. Um, try to get it over there and holding on to spells, maybe not placing them exactly where he wanted to, leaving the rage for the end to get all of that. Go to times two is really, really nice though. Nice job, bud. And then let's get down into some more of the uh, Town Hall 9 action, which is what the series uh, sh- had shown a lot of. The uh, Team Royals and things like that are non-maxed accounts. Nice job, Seer. Bounce out of here, and then let's go down. It, it wasn't, I think it was junk, Junkie. Yep, it was. What? Nope, 30-30. Sorry about that. Oh, well, you know what? That's still... Let's show that. That's still a Town Hall 10. Here's a Town Hall 9 hitting a Town Hall 10. I forgot. That's why I, 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 I even wanted to show this. That's why I clicked down in the first place. So, which is down here? <laughs> Sorry, not which is Larry's. Drops the Larry's, uh, three of them, to take care of the BK... And the CC before it even comes out. That was so smart. Just three of them. Uh, one max, two level ones. So many uh, Larrys running around, distracting. No rage needed for that because it wasn't like covered by the queen. But really just the recognition of that ability to use three spell slots to get rid of a, a royal. And most importantly, the CC really helps set up the rest of this raid for him to basically naked... Um, Naked Royal to try to get the air defense and falls just short to get that. Um, maybe a better place queen would have got it, but still the, the CC being out of the picture was was just, it was huge, huge, tremendous. So he just starts his Lilo a little bit um, with a backup plan, having to take care of this infernal, I'm sorry, uh, air defense first. But the rest of the rotational Lalo goes according to plan as he freezes coming into this inferno. There's a hole in the base, so he drops a few dragons right there. And then with that rage, to try to help all that out. Meanwhile, he's got four loons coming in towards two air defenses with about six loons behind them. No spells, but, I mean, really, he doesn't need it at this point. He's got a dragon that's cleaning up some high hit point storages in the core. Meanwhile, he's got a lot of loons coming in to three hounds that two of them now bust. But now the third hound is sitting on top of an air defense so that some of those cleanup pups stay on the map to help him get this three. Really nice. Again, this is a Town Hall 9 hitting a Town Hall 10. So I know that uh, at One Hive and in other clans, we get, we get things like this all the time where you get a really uh, hodgepodge clan and everybody's a Town Hall 10 so 9s have to clear. Uh, Town Hall 10s with Infernos. Not that it's the most difficult. We go to times 2. Not that it's the most difficult base design out there. I mean, a lot of the times... I mean, just look at this base design, right? Um, it's still not a guarantee thing to do. Dealing with Infernos as a Town Hall 9 is still hard to do. I, I don't care what level of, of play that you're on. So... It's never a guarantee. There's still an added la- uh, level of difficulty in order to do it, uh, and you have to know, ha- have to experience uh, and know how how to deal with it as a town hall nine. So it's still a great feat to accomplish. Great job, Junkie. As we get out of this, and then now let's get down into some more nine on nine. And I know that there was some low level royals. I think, yep, John, and then Warheads. John, newcomer, welcome, buddy. With teen heroes, sixteen, seventeen. 
It's a 9.5, so really it's a Town Hall 9 base, all ma uh, with the exception of one bow all being max point uh, defense on it. I think maybe these air defenses might be underdeveloped, so maybe not maxed. So, Naked King, uh, Suicide Royals, rather, takes care of the sea, uh, Queen and then just sends in the, the Lalo from the right side, uh, fighting the Sweeper at this angle. Dragon CC, <laughs> which the pups under Rage and Poison slowing down the rate of fire of that dragon, they win that battle. Still really nice. Nice job, bud. Loons are so freaking OP. So now with um, all the defensives going down, he's got loons at different qu uh, corners of the base. And when that cannon goes down, everybody spreads out, which really helps his cleanup. We'll go to times two. Nice job, John. And then to end this out, we'll stay on Warheads, who is a previous... Possibly current. I know that he did war with WBT quite a bit. I remember him when he was transitioning from Town Hall 8 into Town Hall 9. So let's... Um, he came to war with us for a little bit. Take a look at that. He has now grown up uh, to a, pr uh, and, uh, a brand new adult. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. It's not quite Teen Royals, but it's 1522. Uh, doing um, a Pentalalo. You know, you, get, you leave the queen out to dry like this on bases like that, with the, especially with an air defense right next to it. You're just begging for an attack like this. So, C, uh, queen is done. He's already started his penta. I feel like it was just straight up YOLO. Just tells you how powerful uh, loons were. I'm not sure if this was fresh or not. If it is fresh, I think he should have had a plan for the CC. Or if he knew what the CC, um, CC was, you can't. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not sure if this was fresh or not. I personally would have um, dealt with that CC. Just because all the Larrys and the Witch right there are going to irritate or if not pick off your um, cleanup pups. And then he sends in that last hound, which is a max one. It <laughs> just. Warheads, this looks like a YOLO, buddy, but it cleared. <laughs> it just tells you all oh, um, OP the loons are. But he's still got a witch up running around. That's what I'm talking about, you know? And then he's got, what, five pups for cleanup? I mean, yeah, it cleared. That just tells you how overpowering loons are. But, you know, you definitely don't want to YOLO the CC. Uh, you got to have a plan for the CC uh, because that witch picked off so many pups. Uh, we go to times two, nothing but clean up. Still, you know, whether it's clean, whether it's dirty, whether it's overkill, uh, dirty meaning like messy, or if it was over, uh, overkill, or if you get it at the last second, a three is a three is a three. So um, at the end of the day, that's the way I feel about it. But I would still deal with that CC a little differently. Let's go to times four. Nice job, Warheads. Um, hopefully to bring more of these types of videos. I know a lot of you guys are in this category um, that play the game. You know, not not maxed out. You guys don't see CWL bases. So I hope to bring more of these types of episodes so you guys can relate a little bit more. Using the same strategies we use in CWL or high-end uh, wars can be applied at, at the very mid to low range levels as well as you're as seeing with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and the talking points. Once again, it's Brutus reminding you, you got to be better than a double. And I will check you next time.